We travel to San Felipe, Mexico, to the Sea of Cortez. In this extreme case, the salt water will flow to this parked car, where it will attack an exposed engine and contaminate the engine's oil system. Earlier in the day, we drove this car to the location. The engine was treated with polytron, and it was running well and in good condition. We then removed the valve cover to expose the valve train. The oil was drained, and the oil pan was removed. Now, watch as the tides in the Sea of Cortez quickly move towards the shore within three hours' time. Remember, the oil has been completely drained from the engine, and the crankshaft and valve train are totally exposed to the elements. This car has been parked in the Sea of Cortez with the engine running. Salt water has contaminated the oil system. Let's take a look underneath the engine. Let me have the underwater camera. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at the crankshaft. Look at this. The crankshaft is going. The crankshaft is going. This engine is running in the Sea of Cortez it down. with the salt water. Unbelievable. Now, let's take a look up top. Look at the valve train. The salt water is fouling the valve train. Salt water is getting inside this engine and it's running beautifully. Polytron has protected this engine from salt water. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! After running without oil in the sea of salt water, the car's driver attempts to drive the car out of the water and onto the beach. Amazing! Look how the car continues to run. It's made it to the beach. And it's still running. Polytron protected this engine. I couldn't believe it. They drained the oil out, they drove it out, let the water come in, kept running the engine, and it, it just kept going. I, I was waiting, and it didn't, it didn't freeze up. I couldn't believe it. Most, most of the time we have to tow cars out of here, and I can't believe that this vehicle drove out with no oil pan after being submerged in water, you know, so it's, it's